Hello, real deal. How y'all doing? Uh, we coming into our um I'm working hard <laughs> to the Ayantha YSL's Rico trial. Uh Trentavius Stevens, he's the number eight YSL gang member. Supposed to be a friend, a young thug, but you know, they all call each other friends, but really it's more like an associate. He's going to testify. And so this is just going to be, I think this on this particular video is going to be his first time testifying. Okay, let's take a look at this and then we'll move on after the uh, court. Okay. But before we get started, go ahead on and hit that like button and share, like, share, and subscribe, okay? Thanks for watching. versus Trontavia Stevens in indictment 22SC 183572. Um, good evening, Ms. Gladden, and good evening, Mr. Stevens. Good evening, Your Honor. And uh, good evening, Ms. Love, and good evening, Ms. Hill. Um, Mr. Stevens, can I get you to raise your right hand if that's your able, please? Do you solemnly swear up from the evidence you shall give in the matter now in hearing? Should be the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, have you got it so far? All right, you need to speak up, sir. I do. Okay, all right. Put your hand down. All right, Mr. Stevens, over the next several minutes, I'm sure Ms. Gladden has probably told you, we're going to go through what's called a Providency Inquiry. Half of it is what we call your Boykin rights. That means those are the constitutional rights that every criminal accused enjoys. Getting truth in our system or jurisprudence, we don't force people to plead guilty. So, courts have to make sure you understand your rights and give those up freely and voluntarily before I can say Okay, that. I'm showing y'all this because he is the uh, the young man that took the stand. He is Trantavius, the guy that took the stand now. Yes, right now. So, this is him. So, I'm taking y'all back, okay? All right, here we go. Okay, so that's the first part. The second part of the inquiry, the state has to lay out a factual basis as to what they would have been able to prove at trial beyond a reasonable doubt. So assuming that they can, those two things, um, they pass, then I can determine that your plea is prominent and accept your negotiated plea, okay? And you gotta, you gotta answer it. That's right. Yes or no for the record. Hilton is going to ask you a series of questions that's designed to get into two areas we talked about. When she's done, your attorney, Ms. Gladden, will, will, will offer me some things on your behalf. And then you, you and I. I have come home and I have. Sorry about that, real deal. I wanted to take out of that commercial. Um, I apologize for that. But I am on, uh, uh, they have it on uh, Law and Crime, and sometimes they have it on 10 5. So, you know, thanks. And then you and I will have a short conversation. And Thank you. I should be able to check your plea, okay? Yes. Okay. And are you the same person referred to as Trontavia Stevens, also known as Tick and also known as Slug, on indictment 22SC 183572? Yes. Are you at this time taking or under the influence of any alcohol, drugs, or medicine? No. How old are you? 29. And how far have you gone to school? I got a GED. Okay. Are you able to read, write, and understand the English language? Yes. Do you understand that you are charged in this indictment with count one, conspiracy to violate the racketeer influence and corrupt organizations act? Yes. Do you understand that you have the right to plead either guilty or not guilty to these charges? Yes. And if you plead not guilty or remain silent, you may receive a jury trial. Yes. 
have you had enough time to speak with your lawyer and your attorney Glennon about all the facts and circumstances known to you regarding the charge in this indictment? Yes. Have you also been able to speak with her about any potential defenses? Yes. Do you need any more time to discuss this matter with your attorney? No. Are you satisfied with her counsel and representation? Yes. Do you wait for a reading of the indictment? Excuse me? Someone. Yes. I asked if um, your attorney, you and your attorney wait for a reading of the indictment. If not, I got to read the indictment. Oh. So, so wait. Okay. Do you wait any on defects, if any, with respect to the indictment? Yes. Uh, Mr. Stevens, have you been arrested on these charges? Have you been arrested on these charges? Yes. Okay. And Your Honor, the state is unaware of any outstanding warrants related to these charges. Uh, Ms. Gladys, do you know... Are you aware of any outstanding warrants as it relates to these charges? I'm not. Okay. Has your attorney advised you of the minimum and maximum sentence for the charge in which you are pleading to? Yes. Do you understand that um, as to count one, conspiracy to violate the Racketeer Influence and Corrupt Organizations Act, that it carried a minimum of five years and a maximum of 20 years in custody? Yes. Do you understand this is a negotiated of guilty, which means that the state will rather have to accept this recommendation and that the court can sentence you to the maximum on each charge? Yes. Do you understand that? Yes. Do you understand that this plea, the state's offer on this plea is as to count one, 10 years to serve two years, commute to time served with a balance of eight years on probation? Do you understand that? Yes. Do you understand there are certain special conditions as it relates to this negotiation? Yes. For one, you shall abide in full by each and all of the terms of this negotiated agreement, and your failure to abide by any of the terms of the agreement shall constitute a violation of this agreement. Do you understand that? Yes. Do you understand that you shall testify truthfully about all matters relating to this case upon which you are questioned at any trial or judicial proceeding stemming from the facts alleged in this indictment? Yes. Do you understand that in accordance with testifying truthfully about all matters related to this case, you acknowledge that each and all the statements contained within the defendant's factual acknowledgments portion of this agreement are true, and that you will testify truthfully about those statements in any matters related to this case when asked to do so? Yes. Do you understand that the special condition, condition, you shall possess no guns unless your right to do so is restored? That you should also submit to random drug screens by the Department of Community Supervision and any agency designated by this court. Yes. That you shall commit no criminal acts. Yes. And that you will relinquish any Fifth Amendment right related to any statement contained within the defendant's factual acknowledgments contained within this plea agreement. And you will make no attempt at trial to assert a Fifth Amendment privilege when questioned on these matters. Do you understand that? Do you understand that some of the factual acknowledgments that you acknowledge is one, that Young Slime Life, aka YSL, is an organization made up of three or more members or associates who share common identifiers that include but are not limited to colors, hand signals, and terminology, who have committed crimes intended to increase the notoriety street credibility and reputation of YSL. Is that one of your acknowledgments? Yes. Do you also what? 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 What, y'all? He acknowledged what? Let's back this thing up, because he the same one took the stand against, uh, wait, 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 is that the one of your acknowledgment? He said, yes, let's take that back a little bit. Wow. Are you, is he serious or he just trying to say something? get uh to go home <sighs> listen y'all listen who share common identifiers that include but are not limited to colors hand signals and terminology who have committed crimes intended to increase the notoriety street credibility and reputation of YSL is that one of your acknowledgments cat yeah. to be more careful so what we're gonna do Oh, wait. Oh, my God. I think he's just saying it to get out of jail. Because. Oh, no.
I'm going to stop it. I'm going to go back to something. I want to go back. Because he is saying one one that cat. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Trontavia is the same dude who can't. Oh, wow. Tavius. Golly. I'm going to put this right here. Uh, it, it ain't freaking me out because he's supposed to be telling everything. Uh, Trentavious Stevens, first time. Uh, okay, he said uh, Snitch. Let's see the snitch, y'all. Let's see. <laughs> Let's, now, see, we can't say he snitched. I did that one right Hold on, yeah. He the same dude said he was gonna tell on young thug, but anybody say anything to get out of jail, you know what I mean? But you don't know if they're gonna keep their words, okay? So we're gonna go back to here, right here, on this first date. He did this. He got up on. No, nah, this ain't the first day he got on stand. I apologize, y'all. Uh uh. No, 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 no. It go back to this one. We're going to go to this one. When he was trying to impress the courtroom, let's see, let's see what happened right here. Okay, this is Trontavious. Look at him. Now, one thing I like about Trontavious, he do be listening, and then he's. I liked his acting career. He needs to be on stage. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, tell me what you think about it. Now, he, I don't trust him. I trust him, but I don't trust him. But I can understand him, what he has to do to protect himself. 
So we got to think about, wait, when it's time to testify, you want to make sure you don't say too much about your people that you be around, but also at the same time, listen to what you say. You got to remember what you're saying. Got them, them a turn to remember what you're saying. Y'all tell me what y'all think. Uh, he's the number eight uh, uh, YSL member. Okay. I don't, and then before I go, I'm sorry. Y'all think he's snitching? Okay. I just want to know. I don't think he is. 